25 cents per head for all herds driven across this range. Why, that's robbery. <laughs> Rick O'Shea, he won't know about it. Here's a vacation. Why do I got to do all the work? Because you're the best cook, Gopher. Don't eat and build a fire, but he can't cook, and neither can I. Well, he can learn, can't he? Instead of playing with that bow and arrow all the time, playing engine. Sometimes a gun makes too much noise. Besides, nobody could learn to cook like you. Yes, sir. Best cook in all Texas. Well, if and you fellas feel that way about it, I reckon it's all right. Good old Gopher. I knew you wouldn't let us down on our vacation. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you sick or something? <laughs> oh, I hope it wasn't anything he ate. <laughs> I swallowed my harmonica. Oh, no, not again. Why don't you tie a string on that thing? Well, come on over here. <laughs> oh! Go for and make a good Indian dog dog. Now, let's shake it out of it. Oh, no, 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 take it easy. Well, no, Rick. Don't, don't, don't. Hey, hey, Rick, now, Pawnee, now, you guys got that. Fellas, now, now, look, fellas, fellas. Now, now. There's only one thing left to do. We'll have to operate. Oh, no, no, not look here, fellas. Rick, Rick. Pawnee, now, stop it. Now, fuck you. Good morning, boys. Morning, Captain. Howdy, Captain. Say, would you like a cup of my special coffee? No, thanks. I'm sure glad I found you, Rick. I hate to break up your vacation, but we've got a job for you right away. Well, anything at all, Captain. You just name it. Well, I guess you got your answer, Captain. Pawnee, you and Gopher get packed up while I find out what this is all about. What's the trouble, Captain? There's been a shooting over that fence that the Johnson outfit threw across the Chisholm Trail. If we don't step in now, we might have a range war. Is another trail heard coming through? Yeah, Smoky Woods is taking a herd north for June Stevens. If you'll hurry over there, I think you can get there before the trouble starts. Didn't you write the governor about that right-of-way? Yes, I did, and I'm expecting an answer on the Saturday stage. In the meantime, you get over there and smooth things out. I'll do it. Good luck, Rick. is the last water hole before we hit the mountains, Miss Stevens. So we'll bed down here tonight and get an early start in the morning. Whatever you think. Mighty fine looking beef, Smokey. Just like money in the bank. Barbed wire, Miss June. Where? Back there in the past, strung out everywhere. Well, we'll take care of that. But isn't Smokey Wood? Hello, Bart. Say, I haven't seen you since the night we... Never mind about that. What's the idea of this fence? Well, this is South Boundary, the Circle J Ranch. You can't fence off the trail like this. Uh, you'll have to speak to Mr. Johnson about that, ma'am. We don't have to talk to anybody. This has always been an open trail. It always will be. You tell your boss I'm taking Miss Stevens' herd through here. And I'm going to cut any fence I hit. Just a minute, partner. Let's see if we can't work this out peacefully. Where do you fit into this? I'm Rick O'Shea. I don't care who you are. I'm taking the herd through the wire. 
But just raise your hands and keep them away from that gun. Keep me covered, Matt. Looks like a draw. I'll take my gun. Sure, there'll be another time. What's going on here, Bart? Well, Miss Stevens is bringing up a trail herd. The other three are rangers. Well, now, Miss Stevens, what can I do for you? I'll tell you what you can do. You can take that fence down so I can move my cattle up the trail. And if you don't, we will. Just a minute. Mr. Johnson? Captain Rogers has written to the governor suggesting a fence right away to Abilene. If he agrees to it, you'll be paid for a strip of land through your ranch. But in the meantime, I'm being paid for every herd that goes through here. If I didn't, I wouldn't have no grass for my own cattle. And if I paid every high binder that put up a fence between here and Abilene, I'd lose money on my herd. But you could give your outfit a couple of days rest till we hear from the governor. We should know by Saturday. All right. I'll give you till Sunday morning. And we're moving on then if we have to shoot our way through. My partners and I will camp right here until we hear from Captain Rogers. I've got a camp wagon over here with plenty of grub and water. Just make yourself at home. Come on, Bart. I'm sorry Smokey lost his temper, Mr. O'Shea. The Stevens outfit doesn't make a practice of fighting with the law. I was wondering if you'd double back to meet me, Bart. Always glad to see an old friend. Say, what's the deal with this Stevens outfit? That's none of your business. Maybe we could make it my business. We used to work pretty good together in the old days. The box canyon the other side of the fence that'd hold that herd until everything blew over. What about Johnson? I'll handle him. We'll take his stock, too. And the rangers? That's easy. It's about four or five hundred head of horses on that mesa above the camp wagon. Wouldn't take much to stampede him down the fence. Did you ever see a man after he was caught in a horse stampede, Smokey? No. Say, that might be real interesting. I thought you'd be reasonable. Let's go take a look at those horses.
What is it, Pawnee? Dang, man, but I was just getting to sleep. Well, what's the matter with you? You getting hunches, too? Sounds like a stampede coming. Jump and Jehoshaphat, look at them come. Yes, and they're inside of the fence, too. That means they're Johnson's horses. Glad I ain't sleeping in that wagon. Like a good hunch you had, Rick. You can depend on his hunches. That makes things a little different. Well, what do you mean? Smokey wasn't the only one that thought we'd be in that wagon. Those are Johnson's horses, and he told us to use it. Let's go talk to him. There's nothing we can do now. Oh. It's Johnson. He's been shot. Get me a canteen. Johnson, who did this? It was Bart. Bart? Bart. But he works for you. Why? I don't know. He had to leave a trail. We'll pick it up in the morning. I still think Smokey's mixed up in this. Gopher, you ride over and keep an eye on the Stevens outfit. And if Smokey leaves, you follow him and see where he goes. Right.
find, Pawnee. Well, we're trailing Gopher now. And he's trailing Miss Stevens and those two men she had with her yesterday. How do you know? The same horse tracks I saw at the fence. Were you fellas trailing me? No, we're after Bartney's man. We just picked up your trail. Well, I was following Miss Stevens and a couple of her men. I know, Pawnee read the sign. How far ahead are they? About a half a mile. We'll follow them. What's the meaning of this, Smokey? You said you found a new trail up here. It means that Bart and I had taken over the herd. One of the men will go with Matt and tell him what to do, and we'll let you go when it's all over. And Matt, we'd hate for anything to happen to Miss Stevens. So don't get any funny ideas. Just do as you're told. Something went wrong. Those rangers are still alive and headed this way. Get these horses out of here and take cover. We'll get them this time. Yeah. Make sure this time. Don't anybody shoot till I do. Hold it. it. Looks too quiet for me. Maybe they went on by. Take a look, Sam. Don't anybody move. Smokey.
can't tell you how grateful I am seeing my cattle on the move again. With the trail open, there won't be any more trouble. You're welcome, that will always be out to Stevens Ranch for you. Well, so long. Ha, ha, ha.